overboard now. I want you to mm -hmm. everyone welcome back to another video today i'm coming at you with a story time so this story time is gonna be on my first fight listen so this story took place in eighth grade yeah it was eighth grade right i think i think it was eighth or seventh, seventh or eighth grade i don't know but i went to catholic school growing up and we did like plays and they had to be like christian plays and stuff I always love being the main character in plays or anything. I just want I just always wanted to be the star of the show. It was also this girl, I'm not naming names, but we were friends at the time. And she also loved being the star of the show. So when one person wants to, you know, you know, you know. So the main character in this play was Mary, which is the mother of Jesus. And I wanted to be Mary because she had the biggest role, so I wanted to be Mary. Long story short. I got the part. She tried out and she didn't get the part. So I got the part. I was hyped, you know. I didn't really care how she felt because I got the part and I didn't care. All I remember is that she wasn't talking to me for the rest of the day. And we were friends, so I'm like, why is she not talking to me? But I didn't really act up. All I remember is us arguing on kick. And kick was lit back then. But we was arguing on kick and I messaged because like, I had like this little iPhone this iphone 4 this is us at home like no this is me and my grandma's house and her at her house so we was arguing and i don't know she brought something up about my mother she was like oh i hope your mother have a miscarriage <laughs> and i was like i hope your whole family burn in hell and we was going back and forth talking about each other family stuff like that and i was like okay bro i'm not about to sit here and keep violating her and let her violate my family so i just stopped texting her and I'm not even gonna hold you. Back then in middle school, I was not about that life. Like, you could say the worst thing to me and I would not even lay a finger on you. But now, if you ever come from my family, no, I'm not letting anything slide. My middle school self was just all over the place. I was quiet. I held my tongue a lot. I was popular, but I wasn't like fighting popular. Like I wasn't, I wasn't punching females and stuff. All right, so that was the weekend. So the Monday of school, I think it was lunchtime. I got mad emotional, um, because of her saying she, hold on, mother, get a miscarriage. I got so emotional and I started crying. And I went to the bathroom and my teacher followed me in and stuff like that. And she was talking to me, and I just brushed off the situation. I'm happy that my mother didn't have a miscarriage because she was pregnant with my sister at the time, and um. Yeah. So that afternoon, we both had cheerleading, and we were all in the room. All me, me, and the other girls that were in cheerleading. She was in cheerleading too. So we were all in the room waiting for the chair teacher. It was chair slash dance. So we were waiting for the chair slash dance teacher to be here. One of the staff members said that a cheerleading practice was canceled. So I was upset. And I don't remember what happened at that point, but we just started arguing out of nowhere. And she said some slick shit. She said something so slick and I got mad. She was like, oh, that's why you don't got a father. And she was just talking mad reckless. So that point really hit me. Cause that's a that's a sensitive topic to talk about. No, I don't have a father. I only met him one time, which was last year. Okay, I ended up leaving, and as I was walking out, she said something else. And at that time, I had one of those math tools in my hand. I don't know. I used to be playing with weird stuff. So I had like, I think it's called a compass or I think it's called a compass or a protractor. I forgot. But at this tip, it was a point, and at this tip, it was the pencil, and it was used to make the circle. So after she said that slick thing, I forgot what it was, but I guess it pushed me to a point. I threw that sharp tool right at her face when I turned around because she thought she was going to talk to me like that and not get hit. So I threw that thing right in her face. So let me tell you, as I turned around, Cause I thought I was gonna get away with it. I didn't know she was like that. 
But as I turned around, bro, I thought it was done. But no, as I turned around, I was walking out the door and I feel a hit from behind. And I'm like, oh, schnitzels. So that's the moment I was forced to fight. I was hitting. I don't know what the, I was swimming in the ocean. I don't know what I was doing because I didn't know how to fight. So I was hitting and hitting. And let me tell you, this girl hit me mad hard across my face. And you know I'm light-skinned. So that red spot, it was there. It was there. And she, she got one hit. Like, mind you, that's that one hit. Like, don't get crazy with me. That's that one hit. She got her one hit. And then the Spanish teacher broke it up. The Spanish teacher and other teachers broke it up. So I'm still hitting and stuff. And they broke up the fight. So after that fight... I got my bag and I dipped. I was walking out the door again, my second attempt. Then all I hear is, Okay, well, if you don't come back here, you're getting suspended. And I'm like, are you serious? So I can't leave after I didn't fought this girl. I cannot leave. Like, all I want to do is go home. Because, mind you, that's my first fight. I never experienced that. All I want to do is go home. Like, I wanted to leave. So... Me, I was always a goody two-shoe. I cannot get suspended because that would be the end of my life. My mother would kill me. I was not about to get suspended. So I was basically forced to go back into that tremendous situation. After I went back, um, they took both of us to the office. So we both walked into the office or whatever because we have to go outside to an, a separate building to go to the office. So... I was brought down by the principal. She was brought down by, I think, the assistant principal. Yeah, we were both brought down to the office, and I'm minding my business. And I look at her with a stink face. She gonna be like, round two? You want round two? She got crazy, man. I'm like, yeah, I want round two. I want round two. So we about to fight or whatever. And the principal over there, like, looking at us like if we stupid. And so he break it up again because she was coming at me. And I'm over here getting crazy, we both getting crazy for no reason. First of all, we in eighth grade. We not even like, come on. So after we had that little altercation, the principal talking about my mother got to come to the school. I'm like, yo, my mother cannot know this. I cannot tell my mother that I had a fight because she don't want me to fight. She didn't send me to school to fight. She sent me to school to learn. So I was scared. I was really scared. But they let us go. So I leave by myself because my friends dipped. My friends dipped. They left. I'm walking to the bus stop and I just feel so trashy. I just felt so like, I was just still mad because like I never got into a fight before. So I'm just all depressed walking to the bus stop. I got home. I'm stalling. I know they was going to call my mother. So I might as well have told her myself. So I'm walking around the house trying to find the right time to tell her. And so I found the right time. I'm like, mom, I got into a fight today. You want to know the first thing she asked me? She want to be like, did you win? I'm like, yup. And she was like, okay. I'm thinking I'm going to get the worst butt whooping of my life. But that's all she asked me. And it was just done. That was it. And I was so surprised. Yeah, that's the story of my first fight it wasn't nothing crazy it was an eighth grade what you expect from an eighth grader thank you guys for watching if you have any other story time advice then please leave them down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye